and a good evening to you, everybody on this Sunday night. Alongside Andy Katz, I'm Trevor Williams. And Andy, this is a big game tonight. Colorado young, feeling like there's something to prove. Mercer old and also feeling like they have something to prove. Andy, tonight a big game for these two teams because it's about going 2-1 and one on the weekend and taking third in the Paradise Jam. Yeah, we heard Kelvin Sampson say this after Houston's victory over Wake Forest. On the other side, Rion Holland, a senior guard for Mercer. He leads the way for the Bears. All five starters are seniors tonight. Two teams that both return four starters. Taking a look at the matchup on these two sides, it's phenomenal guard play that highlights it. We have right now the tournament's leading scorer in Reed Timmer, and he has been a special player to watch. Andy, when we look at the first half of play, Drake, they came out with a lot of energy you expected. Both these teams wanted to rebound after last night. I thought they both came out with great energy. Lee, around the screen from Williams. Threw it up, Williams throws it down. Brown, driving kick, King feeling it, crushes it. Down with Collier. Down to Naaman Wright. The right connection once again. Seventh assist for McKinley right to four. Lee bounced it to Williams. Blocked. Bulldogs out. McMurray coast to coast. Foul and one. Do the Dragons have a ninth three in them? Mohica's going to try. He equalizes. McMurray's second is off. Rebound to Doles. Here we go. Drexel a chance for the win. It's taken away by McMurray. That will do it. The steal in the backcourt wins it for the Bulldogs in double OT. We mentioned they needed an increase in three-point shooting this year. So far they've gotten it up from 35% a year ago to 41.5%. Strawberry almost kept that increase going. Mercer at the start, two of four from three. Nikolic with the basketball, gets a high screen around Bay. Drive and kick baseline. It's two buckets for Walton. You know, there's one Walton who loves the Pac-12 a lot. The Conference of Champions. <laughs> and only trailing by one, nearly halfway through the half. Ringer, what a move to the baseline, under and up. You know, Mercer's going to play a couple of SEC teams later this season. They're going to be at Tennessee. They're going to be at Alabama. And those teams are going to find out how good they are. More great resume builders. Bay, a freshman guard and forward, can play both positions headed to the line. Ringer commits the foul. Second personal against Desmond Ringer early on. like Mercer and Jalen Stowe will have to check in for Desmond Ringer. They another guy that Colorado's waiting to see emerge and they have so many new faces, the Buffs. Six true freshmen, three red shirts that they added into the mix. So Mercer by one in the opening half. A little extended pressure by Colorado right now. Holland pulls up long range two. Too long. Nikolic able to fling it to Schwartz. Jelk's active hands, knocked it off of Schwartz. Mercer has the basketball. Another look off that left foot of Deshaun Schwartz. Watch when they run these offensive sets. When Bob Hoffman calls it out, his whole bench repeats it. It's a thing they call echo at Mercer. The travel on the jump step. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and they were doing it a bit in practice on the practice day. Right. It would go as far as the bench guys during practice, they'd be talking about players in the scouting report. 
saying, okay, McKinley Wright, he likes to drive number 25, and everyone repeat, number 25. That's number 14 for Colorado. Tory Miller Stewart, chance for an and one. Buffs take the lead. So far, our first lead change. No three-point play. You know, it's crazy. You know what Mercer has not had to deal with yet in this game, in this uh, weekend? A deficit. And now they play from behind by one. Wire to wire the Bears in the first two games. They're not behind for long. Dimitri Rivers. Bench asking for a stop for Mercer. Bench very active. See the bottom portion standing as Schwartz fires the three out of the corner pocket. Two lead changes now. We might start a seesaw battle. Oh, we're going to have one. It's going to be back and forth. We just saw a 90-88 finish in double overtime in the third place game between Drake and Drexel with the Drake Bulldogs pulling out the victory. Rivers the drive, back-to-back -back buckets for Dimitri Rivers. The seniors from Ladson, South Carolina. Kinley Wright just two points early. Jumper off. Mercer mitigating Wright well so far. Almost a throwaway. Ball on out. Bears have committed six turnovers. Almost a seventh. Colorado with only three. Shooting almost even to the two sides. That looked good. Look at the way they attack that rebound. The O board gives Mercer a second try. Early 33. Trying to keep the juice into the under eight timeout. Looking to get back ahead. Drive. Elevation. What a finish. move by Cohen. They cleared out for him. Freshman was the player of the year. Slapping the floor. Led his high school to a state championship. Can he lead Mercer to a preseason tournament championship? Those are two good freshman guards against each other right now, McKinley Wright and Cohen. Wright, forged baseline, back out with Nikolic. There's a switch now. Nikolic the fake, back to Wright, McKinley's three. Fouled as well!